Hi everybody, I'm Aubrey DeVilda and in this vlog we'll be talking about procrastination. Everybody procrastinates sometimes, but let's face it, when you procrastinate, you waste time that you could be investing in something meaningful. If you can overcome this bad habit, then you'll be able to find less stress and more fulfillment in your daily life. So first, let's talk about what is procrastination actually? Procrastination is the act of delaying or putting off tasks until the last minute or even past the deadline. Chronic procrastination often follows a cycle. The cycle starts when you avoid important activities and do nothing or don't take any action, but then you feel guilty for not taking any action and that guilt leads to doubting yourself and the self-doubt leads to feeling helplessness. Well, that helplessness takes us back to the beginning of the cycle where you again don't take any action. While this isn't a very helpful cycle, you don't need to beat yourself up if you're a chronic procrastinator. Procrastination is not laziness. But why do we do it then, and what are the consequences? In most cases, procrastination is a coping mechanism, a way that your brain is trying to protect you from something. This coping mechanism can be triggered by a lot of different things. For example, a fear of failure or fear of judgment, uncertainty about your own abilities or the desired outcome, pain avoidance if it's a task that you're not looking forward to, or even mental illnesses or disorders such as anxiety, depression, ADHD, and so forth. While procrastinating may relieve pressure at the moment, it's not a good long-term solution. It can lead to physical, emotional, and practical consequences. So how do we break out of this cycle and beat procrastination? Here are some tips. Tip one, make it manageable. Break tasks into smaller bite-sized pieces so that you can work with manageable steps and not get overwhelmed. Tip two, use techniques and timers. One such technique is the Pomodoro time management technique that states that you should work for 25 minutes and then take a break for five minutes. Repeat that three to four times and take a longer break. Tip number three, just do it. Use the five second rule. When there's a task that you don't want to do, give yourself five seconds while you count down from five and then just start it without thinking about it for too long. Tip number four, eat the frog and enjoy the cake afterwards. What this means is start with the most difficult task so that you can do it while you're still energetic and not at the end of a long, tedious day. This way you get the most difficult thing out of the way first and can then enjoy the rest of the, your day knowing that that part is already done. Tip number five, alternate. Make a list of energy giving and energy taking tasks and then schedule these so that you can alternate them throughout the day. Tip number six, change it up. Maybe work from a different room, find a fun cafe to sit in, or go to a different workspace that you don't usually sit in. Anything to just change your environment and give you something new to look at and focus on. Tip number seven, make it fun. Find ways to make the tasks on your to-do list enjoyable. Tip number eight, get help if necessary. Cognitive behavioral therapy, for instance, can be really helpful in overcoming a procrastination cycle. Tip number nine, build a habit. Remember, building a new habit takes time. So focus on the small things that are easy to attain and maintain, and then keep doing them until they become a habit. I hope that these tips help you to overcome procrastination and to find more relaxation and fulfillment in your life. Have a great day and good luck.